My name is Nagam al -Zubidi. I'm the neuro-ophthalmologist at the University of Texas and the Anderson Cancer Center, and I will be talking about pituitary tumors. The pituitary gland is a small gland inside the brain and above your nasal passages. Pituitary tumors are abnormal overgrowth of a normal pituitary gland. Some tumors are small, we call them a microadenomas. Others are large, we call them macroadenomas. Most pituitary tumors are benign. How does the pituitary tumor affect me? Some pituitary tumors do not cause any problems and found incidentally on MRIs. Large pituitary tumor can push on your optic nerves and may affect your peripheral vision, as you can see below. Pituitary tumors can make extra hormone and cause hormonal imbalance. What should I do about a pituitary tumor? You will need an ophthalmologist or a neuro-ophthalmologist to check your vision, your color vision, your visual field, and the structure of your optic nerves. You will need an endocrinologist to check your hormones. A neurosurgeon may need to perform surgery to remove the tumor. A radiation oncologist may use radiation to treat your tumor. Tests like CT scan or MRI of the brain can help measure the size of the tumor and determine how close it is from your optic nerves. How are pituitary tumors treated? Not all tumor needs to be treated. You may need surgery if the tumor cannot be treated with medications. Medication usually used to treat hormonal imbalances. In some cases, radiation therapy may be used to kill or control tumor. What is my prognosis? Will my vision get better? Pituitary tumors are typically benign, non-cancerous, and slow-growing. The prognosis may be good with good visual recovery if the pressure on the optic nerve is relieved early. The longer you have vision loss, the less likely your vision will improve with the treatment. How often do I need to be examined? How often you need to be checked is different from everyone and should be discussed with your doctors. Usually, brain scan like the MRI, should be performed on a regular basis. For more information, you can find patient information, brochures about pituitary adenoma and other neuro-ophthalmic disorder at this link. Thank you.